Hey, what's going on guys, Pizza Lake with here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a super cool and super easy split screen transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's jump straight to my laptop. Okay, inside Adobe I've got my videos already prepared into the timeline and I already set up a markers where I want to make the cut for the split screen transition. So I'm gonna move straight to the first marker. It's over there. We're just gonna press the C and use the razor tool and make a cut over here. Then I'm gonna go straight to the program monitor and show you how to get these rulers because we're gonna need them when we do the mask effect onto the program monitor. So if you can't see these rulers, you can go down to this icon and press on it, it says settings. And from there, you can go down to show rulers. So like that, now when I press on it, I don't have them. And I'll go back to settings and click on show rulers now. And now I've got the rulers. So now since I've done the cut, where is the marker? Or in your case, you're gonna do the cuts where you need to be this split screen transition. I'm gonna hold Alt and press the left button of the mouse and duplicate this cuts. Then after I've done this, I'm going to click onto the top layer and go to the effect control panel. From there, I'm going to go down to opacity and I'm going to use the free pen draw bezier or you can use even the rectangle tool as well. But before that, I'll go back to the program monitor and go onto the left hand side onto the ruler. And you can see that when I go onto it, we've got those two little arrows pointing to the left and right. And I'm gonna click on it and hold it and drag this ruler to the middle of the program monitor. In my case, it's 960. Now I've got it exactly at the middle of the program monitor. And once you figure out exactly the middle of the program monitor, go back straight to the effect control panel and click onto the free draw bezier pen tool. From there, I'm going to go back to the program monitor and create a mask. So I'm going to click on to this corner and then go where is the line and create another point there and go down like that. Then the bottom corner and connect it at the top. After I done the mask for the first video, I'm going to go back to the effect control panel and click on opacity. From there, I'm going to press control and C and copy the opacity. So then I'm going to go and select the second video and go back to effect controls and click on to opacity and press control and V. And by doing this, we don't need to create another mask. Then I'll grab the mask and move it to the right until we even it with the other mask. And as you can see, there might be few cups that we need to adjust, but don't worry about it. I'm just going to go back to the first mask and click on it and now drag this side a little bit to the right and the top one as well like that. So now we've got kind of like even masks. So as you can see, we've got a line at the middle of the program monitor. Let me just zoom it in. And to remove that, I'm going to select the first video and go to mask feather and make it down to zero. And I'm going to do the same with the second video. And now we don't have this line at the middle of the program monitor. Next, I'll select the duplicated video, click with the right button of the mouse and nest it. And I'm gonna name it top. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same with the first video, selected the right button of the mouse and nest again. And I'm gonna name it bottom. I'm nesting both videos because I'm gonna use a transform effect. And without nesting both videos, I won't get the results I want for this transition. So after we nest the videos, I'm gonna go to effects and type down transform, which I already typed down. But again, I'm gonna type down transform. And from there, I'm gonna grab the transform effect and apply it to both videos like that and then i'm going to select the first video and go to the effect control panel and go down to position from there i'm going to move the cursor somewhere over here and then create a keyframe onto the position by clicking onto the stopwatch and after that i'm going to drag this keyframe at the beginning of the transition and then i'm going to create another keyframe by dragging this to the left hand side somewhere to 500 okay 
And then I'm gonna do exactly the same with the second video. Make sure that you keep the cursor exactly where is the second keyframe. Then I'm gonna select the second video and go down to position, create a keyframe, then move it to the beginning of the second video and then create the second keyframe by dragging this to the right and make sure that you match the same position and side like the first video. So somewhere over here, I think it looks even like that. So once we've created those keyframes, the next thing I'll do is go back to the first layer and move a few frames forward. One, two, three frames forward to be exact. Then select the second keyframe, press Ctrl and C, and then Ctrl and V. Then again, I'm gonna move a few frames forward and create another keyframe. This time I'm gonna drag this again to the left so the video will disappear. And now when we've done this, we're gonna do again exactly the same with the second video. So first of all, make sure that you move the cursor to the third keyframe, then select the second video and copy the second keyframe again by pressing Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V and then move again to the last keyframe, okay? And drag this to the right until the video disappears from the program monitor, like that. And when I play it now, we almost got this split screen transition effect, but we can make it even smoother and better. So to do this, I'll select the first video and select the first keyframe, right button of the mouse, and ease out, then ease in for the second keyframe. And we're gonna do exactly the same. So I'm gonna select the third keyframe, ease in, and then the last keyframe, ease out. And exactly, we're going to repeat the same thing with the second video. So when I play it now, you're going to see that it looks much smoother and better. But again, we can add some blurriness. And to do this, I'll select the first video, go down to transform. And from there, I'm going to untick the use composition and increase the shirt angle to 180 degrees. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the second video. Again, 180 degrees. Okay, so once we've done this, what we're gonna do is select the first video and the transitions, both transition, and move them one audio track above. And then I'm gonna select the second video and put it under it. And now when I play it, voila, we've got this cool split screen transition. And that's how you can create a split screen transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see, it's super easy and super simple to do it. I hope you enjoyed guys. And if you gained any value of the video, please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Also, if you'd like to see more tutorials about Premiere Pro, make sure to check the videos at the end of this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.